Welcome to a Meditative Compline for October 3rd, 2022, the 18th Monday after Pentecost. Compline is the office that completes the day. It has been called the bedtime prayer of the church. It opens and ends with a time of silence. The mood of the entire office is one of peace and tranquility. You should remain in a comfortable position throughout this meditation. Be still, aware of God's presence within and around you. No words can match God's power and strength in the quiet. It can take a lot of effort to feel the peace and solitude. Maybe you have never felt it. That's okay. Jesus can be our model when we need to give ourselves permission to stop and surrender to a moment of stillness. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, hasten to help us. The Holy One grant us a restful night and peace at the last. Amen. Our night hymn, The Beauteous Day, now closes. The beauteous day now closes. Each flower and tree reposes. Shade creeps over wild and wood. Let us, as night is falling, on God our Maker calling. Give thanks to God the giver good. Now all the heavenly splendor breaks forth in starlight tender from the rid worlds unknown, and we this marvel seeing forget our selfish being for joy of beauty, not our own. A while our mortal blindness may miss God's loving kindness and grope in faithless strife. But when life's day is over, shall this fair night discover the fields of everlasting life. Our confession and assurance. O most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you, mm -hmm. to the very secrets of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burning to us, cleansing wind, blow through us, fountain of water, well up within us, 
that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 139, verses 11 and 12. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Glory to the Holy and Blessed Trinity, one God, now and forever. Amen. A scripture reading comes from Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rescue shall be he saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our night hymn, God who made the earth and heaven. God who made the earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given, for rest the night. May thy angel guards defend us, slumber sweet thy mercy send us, holy dreams and hopes attend us this live long night. When the constant sun returning unseals our eyes, may we born anew like morning to labor rise. Gird us for the test that calls us, let not ease and self enthrall us, strong through thee whatever befall us, O oh, God most wise. In peace we will lie down and sleep, in the Lord alone we safely rest. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. May the divine help remain with us always, and with those who are absent from us. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Canticle of Simeon 
Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. My sisters and brothers in Christ, may the holy and blessed Trinity guard and bless us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sleep in peace tonight. Amen.